Hello there. It looks like we are going back to school, ladies and gentlemen, with this episode of The Wild. It seems like this season we're going to go back to school a lot. What's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here from Sydney Share, absolutely shooting his shot, and I am watching The Wire for the very first time. This absolutely fantastic show. And we are up to episode 3 of season 4. This one is titled Homeroom. We're going to get into the reaction. We're going to have some fun with this thing. Let's just smash it. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> Is that the 38? <laughs> it's just a garbage man. It's just a garbage man. <laughs> Yo, Ronaldo! Ronaldo! Okay. Next time you finish up the box, you need to holler on it, yo. See, see. <laughs> Yeah, Marlo. Marlo? Oh, Marlo, we're going for a Latina now? <laughs> Sorry, Latino. Latino. <laughs> Man, Royce, baby. Omar! <laughs> Even Omar in his most vulnerable state, walking down the alleyway <laughs> in his dress robes. Oh, is that the Star Wars cereal? He's still feared. <laughs> you ain't got no honey nut. In his silk dress robe. Caught the new pole. Omar coming. Omar coming. My guy's a celebrity. He the talk of the town. <laughs> he ain't even carrying at the moment. That's the thing. <laughs> They don't have the honey nut. I don't even want this, man. Why not? It ain't what you're taking, it's who you're taking it from, you feel me? How you expect to run with the wolves come night when you spend all day spawning with the puppies? <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a quote of the show or a quote of the episode. That's probably given in the beginning now. So it's interesting to see what the quote's gonna be at the end of this. Back to school. I love the first day, man. Everybody all friendly and shit. Name and Bryce. <laughs> hey, this is... <laughs> this is Billy Madison, baby. <laughs> if you know, you know. What you mean? Makes sense since I know you got your fill of Carcetti. Maybe putting up a crop of these things. On every lawn on the block. And as fast as I take them down, <laughs> they bring more. That's what they do this time of year. I see you at your leisure. This thing over at the University of Maryland School of Social Work, they got a grant. Big money. Just stop. Half a million to look at repeat violent offenders. Hell! Intervention, all that mess. So they're going to study some shit, huh? Melvin. I had me a good helping of them downtown, tie wearing, come to do good, stay to do well, college types last year. You sure? Because I sold them on it, should you want it. <laughs> a big man down Half there, a million? You the Woo. police that legalized it. The college boys loved that mess. Nobody else did, though. Well, I tried. <laughs> you did. Pandemic, pandemic. Hold on, son. We're just talking now. All right? Man, y'all did good with this spot. You were right for hustler. What's your name again, man? Boney? Biddy? What was it now? You know my name. 
Yeah. Well, now here's the thing. With this spot all built up and shit, we need it, yo. Yeah. What? Two choices. Start taking our packages or you can step off. My man Chris gonna holler at you, all right? Yeah, you tell him what it need be. Yeah. That's how you take her corner. <laughs> more about that boy right there. Got good signs on him. Big paws on a puppy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> paws on a puppy. <laughs> Truth is, that. we don't know why he was killed. Could have had something to do with him being a witness, or it could be unrelated. Now, whoever leaked that shit to Carcetti's camp, it lied on us. Well, crazy how last episode, or the first episode of the season, Marlo was, you know, rubbishing that corner. But it seems like Bodie's done some good, honest work, built it back up, built a rep back up at that corner, and straight up on it marlo's like all right as soon as it gets a little bit of coverage as soon as it gets a little bit of business it's mine baby that's it he's taking all the territory he don't care <laughs> close the car, it gets. He wants to go big dick with me i'll show him what he can't handle pulls out there anyone contributing to both sides gets frozen out of my next term no one rise the middle anymore done next i want dpw and hcd out there today Tearing down all Kaketi signs, any lamppost, median, any city-owned buildings, unless the homeowners out there arguing, tear down. We're getting dirty. We're getting dirty. More transport meter flag goes up. Inspection sticker. Tow it. Done. Next. You too. Slow it down. He still got more. <laughs> Nothing else comes out about that murder until after the primary. And I want both of you go to the press and talk down that witness angle. Take the full weight. Either way it goes. Clarence, I'm running dead even with Bond right now. Well, how are you going to be running? I drop you from the ticket. Woo! Woo! Okay, that's it. Thank you, gentlemen. Go to it. Now. Just a minute. This is the mayor's re-up. I could take what y'all paid for and walk away. I just walk away with nothing. Motherfucker refund. No, oh, nigga, I paid for three. And you need to rethink what putting a hand on me is going to get you. You could thank your friend here for snatching away your highs. Michael, man. Woo! Fearless. He in a 3v1 handicap match and he don't care. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't rattle. Yo, you come up under my wing, youngin'. You ain't gonna do nothing but rise, man. I don't even know why you thinking about quitting. Look, man, like I already told you, I'm all the way repaid. That's tomorrow's school. Oh, man, what the fuck you wanna go to school for? What you wanna be? Astronaut? Now that's part of the problem. Dennis, a pay lawyer, nigga. Look, check it out. Why don't you just come down here after school and just work these rush hours for me? How about that? Yeah. Better? No, she ain't no better. That dead city girl. I like Shorty too. She all right. <laughs> I'm getting my way. We up right there. Por qué? School ain't starting tomorrow, right? Don't want to be all dressed up with nowhere to go. Summer holidays are over, baby. Too, don't you, girl? The camera. If you go in front, they're gonna. They supposed to know it's me, man. I'm my own trademark. You feel me? See, but, but <laughs> if they know it's you, then what? You scared on being made, huh? But I don't can see. How about I put you in one of those full body bunny suits? Be like a six foot rabbit putting a pistol in their face. <laughs> you like one of them half soul, half Chinese type from Vietnam and shit. Come again now, Mama Sai. <laughs> patience, girl. More patience. <laughs> the guy drives a shit box. Not likely to find a direct line to Marlo that way. Andre had to go through Monk to get to him. No, but we might get a cell on Chris Partlow or for Toad or for one of the top lieutenants. You're getting close. Mm -hmm. Definitely pulled me downtown. You guys aren't into any shit, are you? No, sir. 
<laughs> There's the most lenient lieutenant. But he wasn't down the ocean today. <laughs> <laughs> and the subpoenas? You won't see a page of anything until after the primary. After that, if a document lands and there's no one there to read it, will the mayor and his people honestly give a shit? Other than that, what can I tell you except to get that unit back on the street where it belongs? Lieutenant, you are relieved from command of major crimes. You've done exceptional work. And in light of that, we want you to improve the performance of another vital aspect of our mission. So wow. Telephone reporting unit. You report there tomorrow, 0800. Have I done something wrong? Lieutenant Marimo will be taking over major crimes. If you need to brief him, do so promptly. Yes, sir. Damn, they're trying to get the Eye of Sauron. Beach, um... Fine, sir. Great. Sounds great. They really trying to get the Eye of Sauron on that detail, baby. Like, Kima and Lester... Yeah. You get the door, I'll do that. I see that little police car on the table. Hey! Hey! Bon came over for dinner! Let's go! <laughs> Even though it's like good. afternoon. Fancy. Coke de Rome? Yeah, the soul mill, yeah, behind the plexi said it was dry. <laughs> hey, Beanie. They can just get drunk in the backyard. I do, I do. Hi! Call me Bunk. Yeah, that's right. Let that shit breathe. Let, don't sway in oh, front of the sorry. kids. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> they hear worse. Yeah, no doubt. So you want ice? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's a double digit vino. Even as a cork. Oh, I like your binders. <laughs> They're the ones he kept Nosey. from the briefing. Not Jimmy. No. Uncle Jimmy. Jim. Nope. No. Daddy. Pops. <laughs> oh, just plain McNaught. <laughs> I'm so happy for Jimmy here, but if this man, listen, you, once a cheater, always a cheater. But if you cheat on BD, it, it's wraps. I'm jumping through the screen, Fat Albert style, and I'm whooping your candy ass like the rock, okay? All right, don't cheat on me. Don't break up a happy home, all right? Marcus Lawrence, um, sorry, Marcus Burnett in Bad Boys said it, all right? Don't break up a happy home, all right? It's my family times, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't, don't don't play like that, okay? I'm That's sorry. my family, man. Don't break up a happy home. Hey, right, stop wearing my clothes, man. <laughs> and if I take his weak ass product, that means I'm gonna be making less money. You know what I'm saying? Only reason I could bring any life to this strip is because of the good shit that y'all was giving me. And then I'm standing here like an asshole holding my Charles Dickens because I ain't got no muscle, pandemic. no backup. Pandemic. Shit, man. Yo, if this was the old days. Ooh. Yeah, now, well, the thing about the old days. They the old days. They the old days. You the want working with now. So you want to bump with Marlo over real estate. You on your own. But if you want my advice. I don't, man. I don't. Bodie. Yo, Bodie. Me? I lost So I'm guessing, is Bodie still getting the product from Proposition Joe? Like that, that, that deal is still in place? Like that connect from Proposition Joe is still um going to Bodhi. That's the re-up. But Marlo's just got all the real estate and territory, but he's got his own product. He's still part of he's not part of the co-op. And I asked that question last episode. And I don't think he is part of the co-op. Um as of yet. They could go to him and ask again. Uh but it seems like Marlo's standing on his own. He gets his own product, has his own corners. He wants nothing to do with the co-op. And it seems like Bodie's still getting um part of the package from Proposition Joe. The whole sale every crew in Winchester homes. Them horses take a Marlo shit now. Speaking of the co-op, oh my gosh. You can't talk that shit if a nigga snatching all of the territory and won't take none of your product. See, the thing is, Marlo is only taking a little bite. The New York cats is like Walmart coming to town. Me personally, I think it's time Walmart went home. The kill I knew in Baltimore. It's gotta be all of us. I tell you what, I like to see Marlo with us in on that one. You know what I mean? One big Baltimore team. <laughs> yeah, Marlo can make an inconvenient nigga disappear, can he? <laughs> <laughs> I heard he got some kind of hookup at this funeral home in Westport. Coffin goes in there, needs two, Paul Barra. Come out, need eight to carry that bitch, you know what I mean? Nah, nah, he using them shut-up row houses. Dump a body in there, no one can tell one smell from another. Well, whatever he doing, he calls Slim Charles on he it. he ain't stupid. I think it's time to try again to talk to the boy. 
I cannot believe. Say the stringer. Because Youngin ain't given no one an ear yet. <laughs> stringer couldn't get to my boy. Jimmy, you a domesticated motherfucker. That's actually crazy that I just paused before, talked about that exact same subject. In the next scene, they have their little community meeting. I I'm surprised there's no minutes being taken, man. Come on, we're going to do minutes. We're going to uphold to the laws. <laughs> time with it though something ain't right well enjoy it while it lasts you working something yeah i got this one case i know who the shooter is but can't find him he'll turn up maybe <laughs> more oh mercy no ma'am dessert oh i was thinking you might go out for a little taste unless you gotta tuck in the kids i don't know oh it's fine jimmy you go i'll tuck him in She trusts you. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, if she doesn't have the money on her, I, I don't know what I can do. Did you beat that woman in there? I just want my money back. Excuse me, Mr. Gergen. I need a moment with my director of security. Hey, he, he ex-police, man. He can handle this. If she presses the charges, I'm cuffing that motherfucker. Mr. Colvin, this is a delicate matter. Delicate shit. Mr. Gergen represents a national consortium of convention planners. Who He's gives a shit? Him. He's a prick. Mr. Colvin. Mr. Colvin. Now you took his cash. He beat you good, huh? How much he beat you for? <laughs> How much? <laughs> No, Mr. Colvin, I... the fuck is this? <clears throat> she steals my money, and you're gonna lock me up? Get in charge with assault. It'll be all right. If you wanna charge her with the theft, I'll put the cuffs on her, too. Uh, uh, you in the wagon, shit, bird. Mr. Colvin, this is not acceptable. No, he's going in the wagon. Mr. Colvin, I have to insist. 30 years of police officer, I never took cuffs off a right charge. Ain't about to start now. You're not a police officer, Mr. Colvin. You work for us. There's a new chain of command for Bunny, man. Bro, what you looking at Bunny for? He will whoop your ass down to Philadelphia and back. His hands are tied in this. Figuratively. But... <laughs> hey, we're back. <laughs> back to school, baby. Hold on. At least they got their uniforms. Dang, man. You could tie one shoe, you could tie the other one. You hear me? Cookies all on your face. <laughs> My man was eating good for breakfast. <laughs> Hey, Randy got lunch with Dookie. Let's go. Look at all these big ass eighth graders out here. Look like some sixth graders gonna get banged. Yo, come in here. I wanna show y'all something. Ahead, he, don't, he ain't even gonna dress in uniform. He ain't even gonna rock up name. He probably gonna. I'm too cool for school. Nah, don't lock out Duke. I feel so sorry for Dookie, man. Yo, check it. Just is it the it smell? My like father drew these. I'm about to get one on my arm. Is this you? Why would you get yourself on your arm? In case you forget what you look like. What do these mean, man? All right. This one means heart. Like you know, he got heart, and that means lying. How you know that? Where the dude could be playing you? Like this one. Instead of heart, it could mean like bitch. Or something and like this one, it can mean like pussy or oh, oh, clown. Come on, man. <laughs> Fuck y'all, motherfucker. It probably do too. Man, get out of my house. Understand something about me. Damn, they even got the Under Armour bag, the chain, the jersey on top of the uniform. And I am Stone Cold Police. First, last, and always. Froze my balls off in the winter, sweated them in the summer, ran, jumped, rolled in the dirt with the bad guys. 
24-7, 365. Now, I'm a great admirer of this unit. Avon Barksdale. That was a 14-point buck you bagged. However, we points, have to do points, better. points. Now, if there's a case to be made out there, we'll make it together with good work and good supervision of that work. I want to be briefed every step of the way. Questions? Everyone going back to school today, man. <laughs> oh. This is that new term. You think you're going to have the same teacher again? You're like, I'm looking forward to seeing Mrs. X again. Yo, it's going to be the best term with the boys again. And there's a new teacher. It's a substitute teacher. And Mrs. X is on maternity leave or something. I don't know. She just left the school. And then the, the term is just going to get worse. So these guys, they're going back to school and they're getting a rude awakening to Cinder, um, Auntie, Lester Freeman, Kima, all of them. <laughs> Where's Caroline? Auntie Caroline. Oh, who you got? I got Prez. <laughs> what? Come here. Prez Borowski. <laughs> Prez Borowski. Yo, he knew and white. We got it made. Yo, he gonna take that 500k option, hopefully. Uh oh, look at this. Fine, <laughs> take home car. Yo, this gonna be chaos. <laughs> this gonna be chaos. <laughs> Godspeed. That's that shot from the intro. <laughs> School's getting ready to start. Come on. Hi, dear. Good to see you back. Yo, what up, Turner? You back for more? Ah, oh, damn, man. Yo, I love the first day, son. Everybody all friendly and shit. Name and Bryce. Already we're starting? The class clown. Thinks he's above everyone else. Next time they stay in my drawer. Yeah, whatever, man. In fact, you got police out of school. And she got the Timberland bag. Yo, them bitches is on steroids. I'm glad he said it, not me. It wasn't me. It's the Prez Belusky. Okay, check the chart, see where you're sitting. This is gonna be check interesting. Hi, I'm Randy. How you doing, Randy? This is gonna be so kindergarten cop, baby. <laughs> check the chart. Yo, he gonna have life. He gonna find life so difficult in here. Okay, good morning. He needs to stamp his authority. Okay, good morning. Yo, shut up! The fact that Randy had to do it says a lot. Good morning. I'm your homeroom teacher, obviously. My name is Mr. Presbaluski. But you can call me Mr. Presbaluski. Dead. Come on, Pres. Oh, come on, Prez. First day nerves. First day nerves. A little clumsy. Where am I about to pass today? Crystal Judkins, you're not listening. Crystal? I look like Crystal to you? I'm Charlene. It says Crystal on your desk. Ronald Parker? <laughs> Kareem Williams. Ronald over there. Oh, jeez. Um, yo, Mr. Prez, I need a hall pass for the bathroom. It's an emergency. Uh, everyone, I need those bus passes back. Hold on. Whoa, everyone, stay where you are. Stay where I need those passes back. Mr. Prez. Everyone, I need those bus passes back. The kids that need them. Mr. Prez. What? Just take one. I need those bus no passes back. No one leaves this room until Mr. Prez Veluski gets those bus passes back. 
Do I need to say that twice? Is, is it a race thing or is it just like they see a new teacher that's not respected or do they see like a white skinny teacher and they're like this guy ain't gonna do anything like it's gonna be chaos man at school In, okay <laughs> just have to double check gotta make sure <laughs> I don't want to walk in on anything again <laughs> you actually see me sir I did why did they making it seem like we haven't seen Royce before some mysterious man <laughs> I'd like to know my boys in depth why do you want this unit honestly I mean, I know you have to do it for a while, but maybe next year, if I do good here, they'll reach down for me. Next year, huh? I mean, for some things, that's a long time to wait. You going fast track it? Excuse me? I hear you're a good cop. I also hear you recognize who your friends are and that you're loyal to them. Did I hear all that right? Absolutely. Where are you on the list? 32. They took 15, but... <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to say something like 60. You know, 95. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me call my man. For real. No need in wasting good police like you chauffeuring around politicians. I don't even know what to say, Mr. Mayor. This, this is unexpected. Yo. Don't mention it. He giving him Amazon same-day delivery day. promotion. Have some fun. Don't mention it. I'm gonna throw you a little math puzzle. See if I can get you thinking on your feet. Andre is leaving Baltimore. Uh, Mr. Presbo, I need to change my seat because this boy has smells like a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need to work a little on your compassion skills. Yeah, he needs to work a little on his soap and water skills. <laughs> All right, like I was saying, uh, my friend Andre is leaving Baltimore. Oh, Dookie, man. He's going 60 miles an hour. Hey, right, what's out of Baltimore? East or West? Right. It doesn't make any difference. That's what you think. <laughs> okay. East. <laughs> West. West. Okay? Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you need to start integrating the police uh, learnings into Philly school. <laughs> Philly's ass. So you think Alan Iverson in his ass? Okay, stop. Yo, he only played for them. He ain't from there. Hey, I'd never play for the Sixers no matter how much they pay me. Nigga, they pay your ass to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. <laughs> he ain't say Andre was black, yeah? Come on, Randy. Andre from the west side? Hey, yeah, you know he black. black. You know he okay. black. Mr. Presbo, you say he's traveling in the car? Is he driving? You know he black. Mr. Presbo, you say he's traveling in the car? Is he driving? Or is he, like, in the back seat? All right. You know what? Fun is fun. Oh, here we go. It's on. It's on. First lesson. And he gonna take them bathroom passes and Randy heading out. There's the enforcer. Everything okay? <laughs> Crazy man. Presbyluski is a weak dog in this, man. He needed to become the wolf. He's a little puppy here. Working overnight on the wire. Attendance at all office meetings is not mandatory. Inform her. Send us light. Look at this guy, man. This is the best we can do. Sir? This is the guy we're wasting months chasing with a wiretap. We could be on the street doing a dozen other different things. Stanfield is a comer. He's got a lot of West Side real estate. How many bodies on him? <sighs> he fought a war against the bark sales last year and dropped a few, but nothing recent. Nothing recent. He owns West Baltimore, but with no bodies. Oh, maybe it's just me, but in 18 years out there, I have never seen a carnivore eat a carrot. He's been quiet for a time. For a time. This city is up to its hips in blood, and you are sitting on one guy with a history. Okay. This guy Here's looks familiar. Guys. 
I want good, the more I look quick at him. rips. Six, ten, twelve felony cases a month. That means no more long ass wiretaps, no more subpoenas, no more mincing around on shit. We get out on the street, we come back with stats. Barksdale case is closed. When a Stanfield wire comes up for another 30 days, we close out on that as well. Understood? What the hell with this? We got a wiretap up, and a judge decides when it comes down. Thank you. Well, detective. But Lester, I gotta be careful here. The deputy ops is gonna talk to you about that. Yep. Everybody getting disciplined here. Randy gonna sell them bathroom passes, isn't he? You gonna hustle them. My guy hustling. Hustling. He came with stock. Anything you can get at the store, I can get in here for y'all. Changing the uniform for each grade. <laughs> It is, yo. Going in at the uh, lunchtime, recess time. Oh, yeah, Goldo. The package. Avanza, cabrón. With that regular ass piece? You think it's you crazy? Local or something? Don't you know this shit is bulletproof? I don't understand. You heard what the boy said? The backup came. My guy was going to catch him lacking as well. box of new po new po <laughs> my change yo <laughs> wow me yo you see the look on this mug that's the reason why we get up every morning Okay. Man, we're still now, on the same math problem. <laughs> Andre's friend Yvonne is supposed to meet him in Philadelphia. <laughs> Andre gonna bone that skank. Can you please shut up? It's the press boy trying to teach us something. You shut up, bitch. He ain't teaching me nothing. <laughs> Yvonne, though, is coming from New York. So, my question for you is... A. Who arrived in Philly first? Andre or Yvonne? And B, by how much time? Right, and C. Who gives a rat's ass? Exactly. <laughs> 50,000. 80 20 health plan and a take home vehicle. I'd be amazed if they give you 30, an HMO, and a bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say half? Why did I think half a million? Like, I thought he said 500,000 before. I must have uh, on the chairs now too. Not even the desk. They even drawing on the historical figures right there. Martin Luther King. No, no, sorry. Malcolm X got a freaking mustache. Oh, someone did it. Was that Dookie? Who did it? That's all right. You got to take those licks. You got to take those licks, sir. You got to take them. Happens to all teachers. It's a part of the game. I go in there now. You know what that makes me? Is that the witness that got shot? And he's attending, yeah, the, the wake. Or oh, the funeral, sorry. So sorry for your loss. I mean, we shouldn't be here today just because... Your son came forward as a witness. What do you mean? I don't... You hit the wrong. I'm just sorry for your loss, that's all. Right, okay. Wrong time and place to mention that, man. Like... Ooh. First thing's going on in the 11th district. Harder than I hoped for. Even on the mayor's ticket. Yeah. You know, it's pretty well entrenched. Good luck with it, though. Council sure could use you. Yo, King Theoden said it, my man. No parent should have to bury their child. R.I.P. R.I.P. my guy, Bernard Hill, man. Look, guys, um, 
I'm sorry, you know. Now's not the time. I don't really have anything to say. I'm sorry. Yo, the news was just camped right out there. Have some shame. I know it's election time, but have some shame. clock from the visual alone, but I start making speeches right here, now. How's that really gonna look? Boss, as political theater, this is pretty fucking late. Yeah, well, you know, that depends on the audience. This is Sean Williams. Boss, you want me to stay? No. <laughs> Carver can provide the 18 to 21 age range. <laughs> he got the link up. So, Sean? You police. He ain't. Sean, how old are you? 18. How old are you? You Sean head motherfucker. <laughs> your sister, Sean. The fuck you want with my sister? What the fuck's this Chuck E. Cheese looking motherfucker writing? Let's say you hear that your sister was assaulted. Oh, who fuck with my sister? She wasn't, I'm just saying. Saying what? Why you fucking with my head, motherfucker? And this bitch is writing again. It's habit. What would you do if you heard your sister got beat up by some guy? Which sister? I mean, because it's Cherie, she probably ain't coming. <laughs> All right, <enough. laughs> Danielle, I fuck that guy up. I fuck his ass shut. But you in jail. I get my boy to do it. Well, what do you ain't no boy? Then I get the nigga myself when I get out. But what if you had a life sentence? Then I'll fucking escape and put that fucking pin down before I shove it up your motherfucking ass. Yo, show. What if you couldn't escape, Sean? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's go to the police. It's just a question. Hey, that guy getting some real practical experience right there. Thanks for being you. <laughs> Thanks. He getting some great. Look, I'm ready to acknowledge that um, first hand experience. 21 might be too seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> Sean had a mouth on him. Hey, you fix the juveniles. Right now? Fresh out. The van of baby booking just left. Well, are you looking for kids in the system or just kids? Because if it's just kids, you got Douglas right around the corner and school's in this week. High school? That's what, 15 to 18, right? Yeah, but I would, uh, we go younger even. Damn, Randy, Naaman, all those boys. They're like 12 to 13, right? Kima, what's up, girl? Are you sure? Ooh! -hoo! It ain't the time or the place. The one who took you out of the Eastern, sent you to the show. Let me talk to people. Especially after timing for when you flew your paper. Shrewd. They're both having conversations. I see anybody shutting us down. Not with the elections. What asshole would risk the headline? But to gut us from the inside out. Charlie Marimo, my Trojan horse. And now, let me guess. To save your wire, you're prepared to go to Judge Davis. If my memory serves, this isn't the first time a deputy out felt the need to bury you. You have a gift for martyrdom. I wonder, though, are your disciples as keen for the cross? Wow. Wow. In your final court report, it would be prudent to tell the judge the investigation hit a dead end. Election time, go everyone spazzing out. I doubt you'll believe it, but uh, I respect the effort. You're a hell of an investigator. I feel like that's honest right there, but his hands are tied. It would yeah. be too much to expect you to serve under Lieutenant Marimo. That's a virus. Homicide, then. That's you, right? Yeah. I know it's hard right now, Detective, but uh, try to think on this as a favor. Remember that conversation I had, I think, in season one or two? When they ask you where you want to go, don't say this. Hey. 
the, it's a regular occurrence, all these misbehaviors and stuff like that. It's just okay. chaos. There's no order whatsoever. It's not like a one-off, so someone gets in a fight or anything. Yes, it has. Well, there was an opening. Oops. Just filled that last night. Another fugitive from major crimes. But, for you, Major, let me see who I don't love no more. If this is going to come at the cost of Bunk okay, or one of his boys... So if like, a rocket travels, say, a thousand miles an hour, how far does it go in an hour? Darnell. Randy. Is this a trick question? Nope. A thousand miles? On the money. Oh, Mr. Presbo, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was like, she had a cutter, right? Oh! But I need to go rewatch that. Is this a trick question? Nope. Thousand miles? On the money. Oh, Mr. Presbo, I was going to say that. <laughs> What's a little cutter? Oh! Like a box cutter, it looked like. Yo, Presbaluski's ex police man. He should have reprimanded it. Yeah. She came and bitch slapped that shooting. Just lay still. Just lay still. Obviously, I know that girl was being an idiot before and harassing her with the, the sunlight reflection in her eye. But it doesn't justify doing that. And I think, yet again, that just goes to show how nearly impossible of a task this is going to be to completely flip this whole institution and system. Um, and I think what it goes to show is what I said in like early season one. You, you got to literally change this from the ground up. And I haven't uploaded episode one and two yet. So I don't know if the questions have been answered in the comment section thus far about me talking about, does it stem from the parents? Does it stem from, you know, it's just like almost, it's a, it's a cyclical thing. It goes from the parents not disciplining their children. Those children no, have no sense of discipline or like a little moral ground or code going into school. So when they get to school, those students are going to hang around with kids who have the exact same sort of upbringing. And it's just all going to cause chaos and anarchy. And that's what it is right there. And those kids have older brothers or sisters who are either drug addicts or older brothers or sisters who are in the game, part of the game, and talk like they're in the game at home. They don't separate that lifestyle they bring it home um and the way they talk around these little brothers and sisters it's the same thing with sean here sean probably has those conversations um at home around his sisters yo i'm gonna fuck this dude up uh i'm gonna bust a cap in his ass like things like that and that you know those sort of words you say or those sort of actions those imprint those imprint on the kids at such a young age and they take that to school hence the girl cutting up that um individual right uh that other girl right there and rather than you know obviously she confronted her in class before but rather than you know confronting her face up and having you know obviously probably i don't know uh a square up and just selling it with fists she cut her face like that is crazy these guys are 12 13 years old um and it's absolutely 
um crazy to see and i love how ballsy the wire is in depicting that um and it's not just for shock value it's to show that there's a huge deep systemic issue rooted in a lot of cities in the u.s not just baltimore um and i love that about this show um and i respect it for dealing with those dark themes especially with at such a young age and we're gonna see probably worse at school and that's just the tip of the iceberg um and then dookie comforting her already at the end there because i feel like he sympathizes with her and i see like um he can i feel like he can see um where she's coming from in terms of like she's probably the girl version of dookie who's had to endure a lot of bullying and things like that um it's just that her temper was tested already like she um she reached her limits and that was it right there so yeah i cannot wait to see this show um continue to explore the schooling system um i love randy randy's like he's one of the smartest kids there i know we look at dookie solving the math problem but randy is smart as well um and i think we should not overlook that i mean the guy has separate uniforms to go into the different lunches and hustle at each respective time like if he ain't built for the game then i don't know what he <laughs> no but like it's crazy to see because these kids or a lot of these kids probably have great potential to become something in life um but it's just the way it's like who they're brought up around um and i feel like it's probably the education system as well, giving him a lack of direction. So I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to see how it's going to be explored this season and whether there is even a cure for it. Um, it could be one of those diseases that doesn't have a cure. Um, there might be a little band-aid for it. There might be something that, um, you know, if some individuals may be immune to it, but a little, little, little fraction of those individuals may be immune to that disease and they go off somewhere in life and make it, but the rest, they get caught up in it. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to see this season unfold, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy my reactions. As always, be your brother Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.